In Gaza, the humanitarian situation is worsening with overland access restrictions and the closure of the Rafah crossing into Egypt since May. The UN warns the population could be exposed to the worst level of famine by mid-July. The Israeli army announced a tactical pause along a 12-kilometer road during the day to facilitate humanitarian aid delivery to southern Gaza. In a statement posted on X, the Israeli Defense Forces said the pause would take place every day in the Rafah area from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. But the decision does not equate to the ceasefire that has long been called for by the international community, including Israel's ally, the U.S. The announcement comes one day after the Israeli army suffered one of its biggest losses in the war so far, with eight Israeli soldiers killed near Rafah. Meanwhile, anger and frustration continue to grow in Tel Aviv. A week after the resignation of Benny Gantz, tens of thousands of Israelis gathered in the capital Saturday, demanding the release of hostages and a ceasefire. It's a, it's a shame that there are still hostages who have been in Gaza, in the Gaza Strip, after eight months. We need a change that will stop from the government and down to change the situation, to release the hostages as soon as possible, and just to change the reality. We can't live in this reality for a long time. Repeated attempts to reach a ceasefire agreement have failed as Hamas insists on a permanent stop to the war, but so far no end in sight as Netanyahu pursues his aim of eradicating the militant group.